Hello, my name is Charlie Reed. Um, I am going to be auditioning for the Northamptons, um, the singing group at Northampton High School, um, and this is my audition. Um, a little bit, about, bit, a little bit about myself. Um, I live in Northampton. I go to Northampton High School. Um, I've never heard the Northamptons sing, um, but I have heard music um, in the before. Um, I'm wearing probably my favorite artist, Carrie Underwood. Um, I saw her 30 times on tour, um, so uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be auditioning. Um, the song that I chose, I think shows my range, um, that I can pretty much do anything. Peace up, A-Town, down! <laughs> Oh sure, oh sure, oh sure. Yeah, 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 y
Check on them frequently and take them out after all the cheese has melted and bubbled. Now I'll make the pico de gallo. Mix the diced tomatoes, red onion, and cilantro in a bowl. Then add a few drops of lemon juice and a pinch of salt. Then you're done. Enjoy your extra special nachos and pico de gallo. Thanks for watching. Y'all ready for this? During the first week of quarantine, students received an email insisting that they do not gather at the track or local basketball courts. Last Saturday, Mayor Narkowitz closed all public recreation facilities, including playgrounds, parks, and of course, basketball courts. Nets and rims were removed from all basketball courts, even the new favorite Ryan Road Court. We sat down with local Ryan Road basketball enthusiasts to hear their opinions on the nets and rims being removed from courts. I think taking down the nets and rims has kind of been different because I'm, I'm so used to coming here every day and just playing basketball with some of my friends and because of this virus, like, I'm not really allowed to do that. It's just been like boring and just like not fun. I can see why they did it and it's going to be helpful for keeping people in, the hou in their houses, but like, I think kids getting outside, not really like in groups, but like just having something to do it should be helpful. The nets being taken down in Northampton has affected me because um, one of the only things that I really could do was play basketball by myself at a hoop, but now there's no hoop, so now I can't really do that. I'm sure it's affected a lot of other people too, not just myself, but um, yeah, definitely sucks. It hasn't really helped me social distance because um, I was only playing by myself when the hoops were up, so I wasn't really around anybody at all. Remember social distance, folks. And wash your hands and stay six feet apart. Hi, I'm Lane. And I'm Gus. Welcome to Deep Dive. This week on Deep Dive, we looked into the Formula One season and how it has been impacted so far from coronavirus and how they have tried to keep their season alive and the fans engaged. Fear of the coronavirus has caused many major league and popular sports to be canceled or postponed. The NBA season has been postponed and the MLB preseason has been canceled. But Formula One, a form of single-seater auto racing, which is most popular in Europe, has found some ways to get around coronavirus restrictions. There are 10 teams in Formula One, each with two drivers. 20 drivers start the race and do 50 to 75 laps, taking about two hours. There are a total of 22 tracks and cars reach speeds of over 200 miles an hour. Because Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport racing, there is reportedly over $1 billion in payout between the teams alone. Many people and franchises are taking big losses by the season's delay, but the drivers are finding ways to still socialize and practice their driving skills online using simulators. This past week, there was an online race called the Virtual GP at Albert Park in Melbourne, Australia. Drivers used their home setups to race against each other in the F1 2019 game. Six of the participants were current F1 drivers, and the other 14 were a mix of retired F1 drivers, reserve drivers, and celebrities. Charles Leclerc, a current Ferrari F1 driver, took first place. Christian Lungard, an F2 driver for ART Grand Prix, took second. And George Russell, a current Williams F1 driver, took third. Winter testing took place at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, home of the Spanish Grand Prix, from February 19th to 21st and February 26th to 28th. This is the first time that the teams got to test their 2020 cars and make adjustments before the upcoming seasons. Team Williams showed much promise with their car, as they have had a rough couple of years, starting at the back of the grid every race. And Racing Point cloned the 2019 Mercedes car and did similar lap times as them in winter testing last year. Toro Rosso, Red Bull's second team, which they used to draft drivers up from Formula 2 to the main team, rebranded, and now are called Scuderia AlphaTauri, which is Red Bull's clothing brand. Winter testing was a success for most of the teams, with Mercedes, Red Bull, and Ferrari coming out as the top three. With many of the drivers doing virtual races on the F1 2019 game, we decided to try to beat their lap times on the Melbourne, Australia circuit.
As you can see, our lap times were pretty far off from the Formula 1 drivers, showing just how much skill they have, even in a game. Thanks for driving with us, and we'll see you next time on Deep Dive.